Hey guys, hope everyone is doing good. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn this amazing technique of doing ikat fabric. We will see how we can put the pattern from the fabric over the garment design. So stay with me for the rest of the video and you will see how I developed the ikat pattern over these two designs I made here. A special mention to Fabric Lord. It's an online fabric store, guys. Here you can see the swatches are with me to study the fabrics well. And uh, here you can check out the website. I will be mentioning the link in the description box. You can go and check out their page, their collection on the website. And also you can use my code Shrabani10 for getting extra 10% discount and uh, here you can see guys you have so many options to choose from different collection of the fabrics based on the materials on the weave style on the printing method and uh, different types of the embroidery style as well so guys here is your chance to check out all the collection here and know more about fabrics and uh, you can purchase the fabrics and start doing your designing at the ease of your home and also i will be covering different type of fabrics on my channel here so that you can also learn Learn the illustration techniques and the development techniques as well so quickly I'm showing you the fabrics guys you can see all the fabrics are different than each other so the illustration technique the development technique of the pattern of the embroidery style again gets a different for each of this because the methods are different the colors are different so yes guys stay with me for the other videos also where we will cover all of these fabrics and as you can see this different varieties of the fabric you will get on the website so yes don't forget to check out the website do read all the other details in the description given below so coming to the ikat fabric guys we have the details given here while developing any design it's also important that you understand the fabric you can see the pattern you can feel the texture that uh, what exactly are we trying to illustrate so the best thing which uh, we can use to show the feel of the cotton and the thread look uh, would be pencil colors because here we will not give any kind of shiny uh, look to it because it's a cotton it's not very shiny you can see here guys uh, so here I am using some pencil colors and uh, let me swatch the colors for you so that you can see how I'm trying to use very similar colors to which we have on the ikat weave. So I have my illustration ready guys. It's all about the design you have made and uh, here is the silhouette of the garment and uh, all the other details. I've avoided the face details. Our main focus uh, will be on the garment totally and we will see how we can bring the look of the fabric on this design here. So first thing guys is the understanding of the direction of the weave. So here you can see how the direction is. I'm trying to use uh, that same direction, the same grain line. So using your drawing pencil, first you can make this kind of ikat pattern over the base. And also understand the sizing guys, the fabric swatch or the print might look very big because that's a tiny part of the fabric. But when you use this fabric over your garment, obviously it will look very small and also it's like a big illustration. It's a full figure illustration. So you have to size down that pattern when you put it on the garment. And also guys talking about the folds, you can see I have given some four lines. So when you have the four lines, you are going to cut down that uh, pattern because the pattern will not cross uh, the four line. So we will talk more about four lines in our upcoming tutorials also where we will deal with other fabrics. So here you can see you can relate with this fabric especially how the ikat pattern is uh, behaving with the folds so first you can simply start with the four lines and at that time you can uh, cut down that uh, pattern because it will not cross or go over the fold line because that's where your fabric is having a manipulation the fold is happening so your surface ornamentation surface print will behave just like the manipulation so both are uh, interlinked together they will behave in the same manner 
another important thing is understanding the direction you can see the direction of the garment here if the direction is going to one certain point your fold and uh, your uh, fabric pattern the surface ornamentation will also go in the same direction so you can see guys i'm done with the first one let me quickly put the pattern over this one also also when you are illustrating your design guys look for the different parts so this comes under your drafting when you are drafting the pattern you are making the pattern of the whole garment so here i wanted to give this kind of neckline and uh, so i'm giving that uh, silhouette here that detailing here so that i'm clear with the design i'm trying to make and when we will put the pattern over here so yeah that is again important to understand the uh, pattern so that it becomes easier for us when we put the pattern when we put the design so you can see guys i'm done with all the uh, ikkat pattern and let us move to the coloring okay so guys for the coloring we will start with a watercolor base the reason we are going with the watercolor base is that uh, it will act like a border or act like a base for giving that pencil detailing so this one guys you can do it in a very sheer manner because we will anyway give that pencil uh, rendering over it we will show the pencil weave texture so doing the base in a very light black color it will give that kind of light gray color so it will give a very nice backdrop to the thread effect so this one you can do it uh, using a very detailed brush you can use a detailing brush and uh, don't worry so much about the perfect coloring because we will anyway work with our pencil colors over here so i'm just going to do uh, the color on the base leaving that ikkat pattern and uh, we will finish it and then we will move to the rendering of the colors in the ikkat pattern and also here guys in the four lines you can give little darker color to maintain that folds and uh, anyway we can also use the colors later also to give that final folds so guys after you are done coloring with the watercolors let it dry completely then we will move with our pencil colors and uh, we will start giving the weave pattern so here you can see i have my pencil colors one is black for the base another is the colorful uh, pencil colors and i have uh, taken uh, this gray color to give that effect of the white so we will not leave that blank we will also use the gray color pencil and uh, here uh, we will give the pattern guys pay close attention to the pattern i will also show this from different angles we just have to maintain one direction of the pencil strokes that is the vertical strokes guys because that is the direction we want to show of the weave right so we will only maintain that stroke giving that upward lines or you can just uh, give some zigzag lines with your uh, pencil like moving up and down with the pencil kind of like uh, shading it also make sure that your pencil is sharpened enough because uh, it's a tiny space we need a very sharp pencil and uh, if your pencil is not very sharp you would end up with little messy uh, look so yeah sharp pencil very important to show that fine uh, texture of the weave guys remember what is the fabric you have to take a close look at your fabric if the texture is uh, visible or how it's going to look after you are done uh, doing the illustration you can also look for some reference pictures maybe some ikkat designs all the ready-made garments maybe you can see the pictures so that you can understand that how the whole illustration should look so here guys you can see after i'm done a little bit on the swatch i was testing it out and uh, i'm doing a little bit of the black thread again in vertical strokes in the base so looks good i will continue with this method and actually i have tried different other methods also i was trying this method and uh, this is the best i could do to achieve the similar kind of look so again guys experimenting is the key and uh, so yeah here you can see in the white portion i'm going little with the gray color and uh, this one we will keep on making it using the same vertical strokes and giving very fine lines of the weave
talking about the alternative methods which you can use guys i think you can use any kind of uh, fine liners also but uh, fine liners can be little dark on the color and uh, it might overpower the fabric look and uh, it might end up looking little glossy but again fine liners are very good to show that thread pattern so definitely you can try this with fine liners also and uh, maybe with watercolors also but yeah with watercolor you have to wait a little bit between your coloring so that you don't end up missing every colors together so doing with watercolor is also fine just you have to maintain that stroke and uh, here you can see guys we have left the space and like we were coloring uh, first on the base and then we left that space and then we colored on the space right so you can use the same techniques you can uh, understand the concept and once you understand the concept of coloring and uh, you can definitely do it with your own materials your own choice of materials so here guys you can see on the top portion i have colored the fabric and i've given little of the boundary to clean it up to create a clean look of the fabric now the colors should not bleed and uh, yeah that is again important that how you maintain your color especially if you want to submit it for your assignments or portfolio you have to take care of the cleanliness as well so always give a clean border with your color pencil or whatever medium you're using so that the colors look properly finished and uh, i'm continuing this method and i'm going over the ikat pattern here using this uh, colors and then i will I'll finish it off with the black at the base. You can also reverse the method you can first do the black color give the texture with the black and then you can fill in the color of the ikat the colorful ones so yeah guys uh, whichever you are comfortable in just we have to maintain that weave pattern here you can see i've done the black one first and then i'm filling it with the colors and wherever we have the four lines there just increase the amount of black so that we have little darker four lines so i will not go with any other uh, material over here just i've limited the color to watercolor and pencil color so that uh, everyone can do it and uh, rest you can also change a little bit about this and uh, make something of your own also you can change the style a bit or you can take other examples of uh, ikat pattern you you will get different uh, other variations also over the website you can go and check it out other different types of the ikat print and do try this out and uh, once you have tried this out you can share the pics with me you can tag me on instagram you can use the hashtags so yes guys looking forward to all your recreations and also let me know in the comments that how are you enjoying my videos and uh, if you have any other recommendations anything uh, more you want to know about the fabrics or anything uh, you want me to try out like uh, unboxing videos or any other fabrics or any other a celebrity look so i've read all the comments and i'm trying to work on all your uh, request so very soon i will be uploading those videos also whichever you guys have commented below so guys here i am finally done with the ikat pattern i am showing you the close up look guys you can see since it's a uh, totally pencil color it's looking little bit shiny because of the pencil texture but 
if you try this in reality it's going to look amazing because we can actually feel the texture of the uh, fabric that weave pattern so it's going to come out excellent do try this out because it's a very different a uh, very uh, unique something which i have not tried out before but i was really looking forward to try this one out and i can say that i'm really satisfied with the look and uh, here guys uh, we will quickly finish uh, the body rendering the skin rendering so here i'm not going much into the detailing i want to keep the focus totally on the garment so uh, for doing a quick coloring i think markers are the best i've recently purchased uh, this markers from the ohuhu skin tone range and uh, there is also a full review video of this markers on my channel you can also go and check it out if you have not seen it and uh, here guys i think this markers are good very good for doing the skin and i'm going with two tones and uh, here i will quickly do the skin and uh, i will also add a little bit of the detailing for the uh, extra jewelry which you can see here for the little uh, maybe like a boho fusion look or to create the mood of the garment so yeah guys whenever you are designing something and also add little bit of the fun elements to the collection you don't need to go so much into the detailing but yeah little bit of the detailing maybe something on the jewelries or the uh maybe handbags or maybe some makeup you want to add like in a stylized manner so yeah guys we will also do other illustrations so there also i will share such uh, similar looks with you all so that you can also work on them and create that little mood and uh, bring out that theme in your collection so over the skin i'm also going with little pencil rendering just to bring out the depth on the skin and uh, here guys i'm done with the whole illustration you can see i've used a micron uh, 005 for doing the detailing over the jewelries so it's up to you what kind of stylization elements you want to add to bring the whole look of the garment so i hope you enjoyed today's video and do you enjoyed the tutorial here you can see guys the close-up look of the fabric i will also be uploading this on my instagram feed and uh, do share your comments do share your feedbacks if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and i shall see you all very soon with another exciting video so yeah guys take care bye bye